with you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be looking at how we can block automatic driver updates in Windows 10 now I've shown you how to block this with a setting inside Windows 10 but some people are saying that that still doesn't work and uh, they want to know another way another way is to use group policy editor so what we're going to do here is take a look at the device manager by right clicking on the start button here and then going to device manager now once device manager is open you're going to need to copy the actual uh, hardware ID of the driver that you want to block so for instance we're going to take this driver here which is the uh, display driver now this is a virtual machine yours will be different so we're going to right click and go properties now we want to go to details now inside details we want to go down to where it says property and then go to hardware ID this will give you all the hardware IDs for that piece of uh, software or driver there so what you want to do if you want to copy all of these you just hold the control key down and highlight them by clicking on them now you can push control C and this will copy all of those now we're going to paste these into our notepad so I'm going to quickly come down to the start button here and just type in here notepad and uh, we're gonna you can see it pop up here we're gonna paste this into here now it's already in the clipboard so we can just either right click and paste or you can just do control plus V and that will paste it in there now we're going to keep that safe for a little bit later on now we want to go to the group policy editor so we're going to put GP edit inside the search uh, bar there open up uh, edit group policy now again once you've got your driver that you want to keep installed this is what you're going to do so you open up the group policy editor here and uh, assuming that this is the driver that you want to keep and block any updates or installation so we're going to go to computer configuration here administrative templates pull the little tab down on the side there and then drop down to where it says system and once systems open I'm going to drop down that little tab there and I'm going to expand this a little bit here but you want to look for device um, installation there as you can see now there is a driver installation that don't so don't get those confused it's device installation and now we need to hit that little tab there and hit the device installation restrictions now inside here once I've expanded this we want to look for prevent installations of devices that match any of these device IDs and if you come down here you'll see that in the list just here and you can see it's not configured so we're going to configure that so we just need to double click on this and this will then open up another window so just double click on this or you can right click but we're going to double click on here and uh, this will open up the window that we're going to make changes to now we're going to put the radio button into enable or enabled and then we want to hit show now where show is there'll be a little list here that's empty and you can paste all of those uh, hardware IDs into here and this will then restrict any changes to this okay it will keep these exactly how they are so we're going to open up our notepad now and copy these and paste them in and this will stop any changes being made to this device ID so we're just going to paste those in there and open up notepad again and just go through here now you may only have one um, device ID that you want to use but we we're using all of them here so we're just going to paste these in just for an example and again you can use control V to paste them in there if you wish uh, or right click and paste it's entirely up to you so I'm just going to copy this one and again yours don't have to be the graphics driver it could be sound drivers and stuff of the like so if you've got a driver that you want to keep or like uh, you could use that now you will need to have Windows uh, professional and above here uh, to use this feature uh, group policy editor only comes in there so I'm going to apply this on OK as you can see here but also you can see down the bottom here there's also apply to matching devices that already are already installed so we can put a little tick in there if you wish it, you don't have to but we can apply this and OK like so 
Now to remove these, again you can see it's been enabled now, uh, to remove these you would just go back into that same location. So I'll just quickly show you how to delete these if you want to delete them. Uh, you just go back into the same location, click on show and this will open up the show contents window and then just right click on these uh, device hardware IDs and hit delete and that will be that and then you apply an OK and you should be good to go. So to make these changes uh, work from right now so we're going to right click on the start button here and go to where it says command prompt admin this will say user account control say yes to that and this will open up the administrator command prompt inside here we want to put GP update and then space forward slash false and this will force the changes to be made while we're at the desktop here without rebooting and that policy will now be put in place and that is it you've now blocked any updates or changes to that hardware ID or device driver okay so I hope this one helps you out my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit the like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date on uploading any new videos if you've got any problems with your computers head over to the forums you know where that is the information's on the screen also join my facebook fan page if you haven't done already thanks again bye for now